recording this about 10 minutes before the video actually goes up uh, because I'm very unprepared. But uh, this week's video is another video where things go very wrong <laughs> and uh, you will see that later on in the video. But um, it was meant to be a transformation of my grey horse uh, style video. Uh, it's turning out more like a day in my life when things just go wrong. <laughs> so I'm not really sure um, what path this video is taking, but uh, it's going to be a voiceover, I think. Uh, yes, it is indeed going to be a voiceover. So first things first, I had to muck out his stable, which was absolutely disgusting. Um, basically, the reason why this video went a bit downhill was because I had brought him in for his bath and he was standing fine. We got I got one side of him washed and then he stood on his foot and ripped his shoe off. Um, I panicked and just thought he was in pain. He was completely fine. He literally couldn't care less. But um, I decided to abandon the bath halfway through. So we had uh, his tummy washed and his bum washed and his neck half washed and I didn't touch anywhere else because I just had a complete meltdown. I thought he'd ripped his leg off. So um, maybe I'll do a, uh, like what products work best on my grey horse. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, in this little clip, I am just mucking out. I included this basically so I could just tell everyone uh, why this video went wrong. So that's me just mucking out. He isn't a dirty horse, but he buries all his poo and makes everything so difficult to find. Um, but yeah, this, that's that. Really, there's nothing much to say about that. I don't know what you can say about mucking out. And here we have uh, Marino's lovely clean bed. It doesn't actually look that great today. He needs some new shavings, but that was his bed. Um, here he is coming in from the field. He always, well, most of the time he comes over because he likes me and we have such a good bond. Um, that's him. That was a joke, by the way. This is him, just a little before shot of how dirty he is. Uh, it's actually kind of disgusting. I use a sponge to like sponge his sweat down after our rides and that's basically when I decided to bath him because I was just so embarrassed <laughs> by the colour of the water coming off him. So this is a very boring clip of me filling the water bucket uh, with my toe in it. Apparently you can see like the little brown boot. Uh, that's the blue shampoo I used. I don't think I actually used enough of it. It said on the bottle to um, put some in a bucket with some water and use a sponge and like rub it into him until it was like a lather but maybe maybe I just didn't rub it enough or didn't use enough soap it wasn't it wasn't great I won't lie um and Marino is actually he's really good standing for baths I think he's just used to it um because in his showing days with his owner he's 18 now so he's had it a lot um I'm say I would say he would have been bathed <laughs> every week um, and he's flea bitten as well and sometimes I just think flea bitten greys are so hard to make look clean. I don't know what it is about them, I just think it is almost impossible to get them to look lovely and shiny and white. And his tail, um, I actually think his tail is just brown. I don't actually think it's white anymore. Um, we have used absolutely every product. Um, we can think of any suggestions uh, leave them in the comments it'd be greatly appreciated but nothing just seems to work and I mean absolutely nothing um, so I'm just trying to get this uh, soap rubbed into him he doesn't care um, he's getting a good sponge I think he's actually quite enjoying it because it was quite a warm day um, and I'd been working I was working 10 a.m. until uh, 4 p.m. or 4 30 I can't actually remember um so I just come up to him after and he'd been out in the field all day and he was enjoying his bit of attention um i I was working at a a horse show I'm a, a horse show photographer so usually by the time I come up to see Marino I'm just not really in the mood to ride because it is exhausting uh, running about the place all day 
but I do usually ride today. It was just a one-off because it was unbelievably warm. But um, yeah, this is a bit boring. This little clip, you, you, there's not much you can really say about washing them with blue shampoo really, is there? So this is the point in the video where Amy appears and she takes my camera and uh, makes my life so much easier by recording for me. Uh, that was a lovely close up on my blue bucket. Uh, there is me making merino literally neon blue. There was a point when I thought I'd died in blue and I did panic. Uh, I did not want a blue pony. But um, yeah, Amy is just helping me out, taking some videos. Um, those are my Copa Equestrian leggings who I am kindly uh, sponsored by or a brand ambassador for even. Um, they are the comfiest leggings literally you could ever buy. Uh, they are so cheap and so affordable and they have a ridiculous amount of pockets. Um, I actually, these are the only leggings that I will ride um, with my phone in because they literally just fall out of every other uh, phone pocket leggings. I don't know if that's because my phone's too big. It's a iPhone 11 Pro, I think. But they just, it, they're such good pockets. Like I trust myself to ride in my phone because I have had countless phones broken by uh, ponies standing on them. But uh, this is Marino just getting a little rinse. Um, he really does not care about water, but you can tell how like blue he is in this video. It doesn't pick up very well on camera, but you can still kind of tell he's slightly blue. And Amy has had to speed that wee bit up for you, which was very nice of her. <laughs> so uh, this next clip is his poor little foot. Uh, Amy thought it was funny because uh, of the water dripping down. It makes it look very dramatic. Uh, that's his little shoe, half on. Um, he got it put back on today, so it, he's completely fine. It wasn't hurt in the first place anyway, but he's got all four shoes on now. Um, I thought this was quite a cool video because he literally changes colour. He goes from like blue to white. It's it's so weird. Um, but yeah, I thought this was very cool. I don't think anyone else will find it cool, but it amused me anyway. Um, so there he is just uh, changing from literally this disgusting like brown navy colour into a nice little grey pony. He's clearly annoyed with me at this point because he doesn't like being fussed over. Um, so I was just trying to get him somewhat dry. So I know it looks odd that I'm uh, washing his tail after I sweat scraped him but basically uh, I forgot about his tail <laughs> and uh, sweat scraped him and then realised I had some blue soapy water left and was like oh, I may as well use this to see if it does anything for his tail. Um, it actually wasn't too bad on his tail but his tail is literally permanently disgusting. Um, so it, it did a good enough job for the state of his tail. Um, but yeah it, <laughs> it did say on the bottle to rub India lather. And that could just be me being stupid, trying to use a sponge, but I just could not get this to lather. Like, it was just, I don't know. I don't know if I can't use it right. I'll be giving it another go. We have a little sped up clip of his tail being rinsed and then some lovely after videos. Look how shiny that bum is. Uh, he was obviously still wet in this and he's not a fan of standing still. He's quite a fidget, but I think he's so handsome. Um, and then he went for a hand graze with me and then I disappeared to uh, muck out his stable and then my dad hand grazed him and my dad is not horsey so this was just a really funny sight for me to see it. So that was today's video, that was our little another voiceover. Um, I hope you enjoyed, uh, Marino didn't. <laughs> so um, yeah basically today's video went wrong again. Um, and I had to edit it really quickly because I'm actually back at school at the minute and I am working as well. <laughs> so it got edited very last minute, but I'm hopefully planning to get a bit more prepared uh, soon and I will hopefully be a bit, uh, <laughs> a bit more organised in the future, but I will see you next week for another video. <laughs>